Data centers are the beating heart of an always connected world. They require the constant hum of energy. Globally, data centers consume around 3% of the world's electricity. Whereas in India, data centers are inching closer to consuming about 2% of the country's total generated electricity. The path we are treaded is being littered with non-renewable energy and some of the unsustainable practices. But could there be another way? We at Controllers say yes. We have reached a big milestone in our energy transition journey. With a keen focus on sustainability, our captive solar initiative, GreenVolt, will power our data centers, both upcoming and existing, which we believe will set a new benchmark in India's data center industry. We are committed to scaling our data center capacity to over a gigawatt in the coming years. And our Green World One solar park is a major step to do that sustainably. Control S is committed to 100% renewable energy adoption by 2030. And Green World One, our first self-built solar power project, is a major step in that direction. What differentiates this project is that this is India's first solar farm that's fully built, owned, and operated by a data center company. The project uses latest technologies and it's equipped with one of the most efficient solar panels that generates more energy with lower land requirement. Most solar farms are in remote area, but this one is located along the Mumbai-Calcutta Highway and in close proximity to the power transmission infrastructure, keeping with our philosophy of seamless connectivity. Generally, transmission lines are set up along the project construction, but we were looking at quicker go live. So we started with the six kilometer long 132 kV transmission lines. They passed through different terrains, including several villages, but we still managed to complete it in under five months. One of the major challenges was replacing the existing transmission towers with the new Lilo towers while keeping the outage to a minimum. And we completed that within a just four days. The land leveling work wasn't easy because the site was covered with grass, boulders, hard rock and debris. After a week-long geotechnical survey, we installed 8.5 km long pre-casted boundary wall and then went ahead with the land leveling. In the meantime, the team also laid the road from the main gate to substation areas and the movement of the vehicles and materials was easy. A vision this grand called for a workforce that is truly skilled and we knew the right experience would put us on the right path. We faced some hurdles to find this skilled workforce locally. So we sourced experienced workers from West Bengal, Jharkhand, Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan who made up to 70% of our ground workforce. Once the stage was set, there were many other obstacles that we faced. Climate became a crucial challenge. Monsoon came and it hit us like a storm. The top layer of soil turned into mud and it became difficult for movement, whether it was people, machinery or equipment. To overcome this challenge, the team had to excavate the top layer of soil around 300 mm thick. Another challenge was that pilings for solar panels kept collapsing because of the increased water in the soil from an extended monsoon. Even the hard rock, which was 50% of the land strata, led to problems like equipment failure and breakdown of drill bits. We even switched from truck-mounted drill rigs to crawler-mounted drill rigs so that we could do drill better and move better on the moist land. For timely completion of the project, timely procurement of material and equipment was crucial. We worked with a total of 40 vendors and followed a rigorous evaluation process. We prioritized quality over speed of execution. 
we appointed an external agency to inspect our solar modules at vendor's facility. We spent over a year on R&D to optimize the project and comply with all the regulations. In phase one, we had installed 1,7912 solar panels. With this project, we have added a new solar team at Controllers that takes immense pride in delivering high quality projects under challenging conditions. We are now geared to deliver more than one gigawatt of solar project in the next few years. Green World One is another giant leap with intent to take bigger strides and expand Green World projects across India. This is part of our journey towards sustainability guided by the idea of responsible growth. And we are now closer than ever before to the big picture and making controllers completely carbon neutral by 2040.